Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> As you guys saw by the title, we'll be doing another Shot My Stash, making my way through my entire makeup collection video. <laughs> First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. Alright, so primer. I am missing a few. A few of them are in another um, basket, but these are the ones that I've used already, um, and then these I have not used. So let's do it. Let's go in with Miss... Should we go Miss Jacqueline? Ooh. How about we go in with the NYX Plump Right Back, and then also pull one of these... Let's go in with the e.l.f. Glow Liquid Filter. Let's go in with both of these. And then concealer, I believe up to here I've used, so I've used all of these. And then, so these three I have to use. Um, let's see, I want to give this guy another go. I just really, I the last time I, I used it for a little bit and I really liked it. The last time I used it, I just was not a fan. Um, so I want to use that again. There's three in here, I just, I hate. <laughs> so I should declutter, but I don't know. So here we are in here. So this whole row I've used here, the middle row. So I haven't used anything from the back row or the front row. Um, but it's looking like a front row kind of day. So we have the glowy primer, tacky base, higher coverage concealer. So many I want to use, but I think we will try the um, Makeup Revolution one again because I haven't given this one a good enough go. It's a long wear foundation with a breathable soft matte finish. Alright, and then setting powder. I've used like all of these except these two and then I have not used this one. So we're going to do it. We're going to go with Miss Jacqueline and Robin, the Sheer Light Powder Move Powder. And then to set the rest of the face, we'll go with number seven because I haven't used this one actually though. Actually, yeah, let's just go with number seven. That just leaves one powder before we can start at the top. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I just changed around a little bit, but let's go in with a face palette because I feel like we should. I have a couple new goodies I want to play with, so actually maybe let's pick the Laura Lee um, face palette, the uh, Glaze Lit Kit. I love this lit kit, honestly. I really wish that it was smaller, but um, that color glow gout, amazing. So we're going to go with that from this drawer. And then like this freaking... <laughs> Like last between this between the last shot my stash and this shot my stash, I feel like this like freaking quadrupled. I'm like I'm in shock. But anyway, um, I want to go in. I think I'm gonna try to pull two palettes this time. I know for a fact I really want to go in with Miss Patty, the uh, Pat McGrath, uh, Mothership. What is this one? What does it tell me? Mothership Rose Decadence. So I think this came out like holiday a couple years ago. Um, it's definitely not new in any way, but I want to use like these berry tones. But let me pull out, I want to pull out another palette I think with it. I actually feel like these will be really, really nice together. So we have Jacqueline Strawberry Fields and then the Pat McGrath one. Um, they have some deeper, some similar tones for sure, but some deeper ones that will look nice together. So we're going to pull those two. I think we're going to have to start pulling <laughs> uh, multiple because we're slow going. This is the stack that I've used so far. I think there should be one more in this stack. I don't know which one it is. Oh crap, let me check. Okay, yeah, sorry. Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl should be over here technically, and then so should... Um, the NYX Ultimate Edit, but I leave it up there because I like it up here. <laughs> I should remind me to use these next time because I want to use these so bad. Okay. So that's it for this drawer. All right, and then cream. So let me just scroll back up to creams quick. I know what blush I want to use, so I don't know if I want to use a cream blush, but we can use... Ooh, have I used this? No. Okay, let's go with the LYS um, No Limits Bronzer Stick. 
Honestly, like both of these drawers, I just hate them. I have to rearrange, but uh, it's a struggle. So out of all like 12 of my new blushes, we're going to go with Miss Pat McGrath. So that's what kind of inspired the um, eyeshadow palette. But let's go in with this one. I know I haven't used that one because that one's a new. But for powder bronzer, let's see. Guys, are they discontinuing the e.l.f. Um, primer infused bronzer? Let me know down below because I will cry. This is like one of the best drugstore bronzers of life, honestly. It's one of the best just regular matte ones. And I don't know if they're discontinuing it or what, but that would make me cry. Okay. Let's go on with Miss Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like we're leaning towards bougie, so let's go on with Charlotte Tilbury. For her, oh, I have highlighter, so okay, that, that then we'll be okay. Um, let's see, for prep lip, so like for a lip before, let's go in with, should we do it? I have another one I'll show you guys in a second, I think we'll go in with. For lippy, we can kind of go fun and fresh. So we can use kind of a lot, because I don't have to go to work today. Well, these are giving berry, so we'll probably pull one if I come. Actually, this one's kind of giving berry. Miss Lawless. What is the shade? Your shade name? Velvet. Let's try Miss Lawless in Velvet. We'll probably use it in combo with a bunch of lip products. And this is the lip I want to choose. I want to choose the... Let's go with Mint Choco for prep. And then liquid lipstick. Ah! Not my dupes. I don't know guys wow this is hard I have so many like lip colors let's I wonder if this color will look nice I wonder if it'll be too like color on matchy matchy but let's pull it this is Mac like baited breath or something like that it's just like this deep kind of color we'll see if this is too much but we'll pull it for now and then we'll go in I think this is the only like purplish mauvey kind of lip liner I have um, it's in the shade Rosewood, which is the dumbest name. Yeah, okay. Alright, and then let's pull... I don't even know what we've pulled so far. I feel like I just have to decide if I want to keep this one in my collection or not. So we're going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Alright, and for brow, I have no idea what I haven't used either. Crap. This is so hard. Okay, let's just go in with, I haven't used the Rare Beauty Duo, so we're going to use the Rare Beauty Duo. We'll use the um, gel and the pencil just so I don't have to think about anything else too much. Alright, and for liner, hmm, let's pull, ooh, I don't know. We'll come back if I think of a liner to pull, okay? That should be everything. Oh my gosh, it's not. Pause what you're doing. The only thing I forgot is the Lights Lacquer Lip Gloss, so I have to switch out the one. But I got this. I'm going to show you guys the whole thing when I kind of use it later. But I ordered um, a lip gloss from Lights Lacquer, so we'll have to put back the Lawless, but that's okay. And then for setting spray, let's go with Miss Jacqueline. Oh, you guys didn't even see that. Miss Jacqueline. All right, now let's go get ready. We have our, I was just horribly sick, um, starter kit here. <laughs> um, so yeah, yesterday I was bedridden. I was couch ridden all day. It was horrible. And today, like, I'm slowly, I feel better. I do. But I have a tendency to, like, push myself a little harder than I am than I should. <laughs> but we're, we're okay. I feel good. We're telling ourselves that we're better, so we got better. Logic. Um... Yes. No. This video um started because I watched Paige Corn do it on her YouTube on her Instagram. She does it on TikTok as well, but I don't have TikTok. So she does a video like every so often. She was doing them pretty often at first, and then she kind of um slowed down, and it makes me so sad. But <laughs> so the idea is that I use I use every product of my makeup collection before like reusing something. So I have to make my way through all my primers during this series, basically, before um, I go back and use it again. So it's basically 
just for this series. Um, I use a lot of the other products. Not even, honestly, I, some I just really don't touch until I do this series, which is why I'm doing this series. But um, some of them I do like use, obviously, during other videos. But just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> if you guys didn't see on Monday, we did a the ColourPop um, stuff. So definitely stay tuned for that. Or definitely go check that out. And then Friday, we have a fun one. So stay tuned for that. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. If I'm out of breath, it's because I was very sick. Okay, let's jump in. So first, I really want to go in with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. You guys can see my lips are dry, sweetie. It is like so hot today. I'm like, are you kidding me? Of all the days, like I'm trying to just, I'm trying to take it easy today. Again, I'm very bad at that, but I'm trying. <laughs> so I'm like, of course, all the days that I'm inside, it's hot when I could be like doing maxing and going to do things. It'd been so great. <sighs> I don't know. All right, next, let's go in with the NYX Pump Right Back um plumping serum primer i don't really love this primer honestly but we're just gonna use it my skin though looks really good today it's been looking horrible but all i needed was to like detox <laughs> and then my skin was like yes girl we have a couple like you know old ones here but we're doing big things sweetie it's gonna be my go-to fall hairstyle just so we're aware <laughs> Because I want to do, like, I love to see my blonde. So when I do the slick back, you guys can't see the blonde that much. I'm like, I got to do something else. But I also, like, my hair isn't the nicest when it's all down. Because it's a little, like, you see, it's a little frizzy. It's not, like, just done done. So I'm just going to slap it on. But the, the these really just make it look a little bit spicier. So, yes. I need to stop, stop talking so much. <laughs> that primer is nice. It does add, like, a little bit of a... Not a glow, but a, like, you know, honestly, it's like a, it's like electrolytes. It adds a little bit of like energy to your face. And I really do like it. It's not really a glow. It's like a <sighs> energy boost, you know? So it's true. I just got to use it more. I just don't love the tackiness to it. Um, then we're going to go in with Miss Elf. So the problem is that the, the primer underneath is a little bit tacky. So we're going to do with this one is just hit it on the high points. And then just use my sponge to blend it out. I have so many fun videos planned this month, um, so I'm really excited, and I hope you guys are excited too. Um, I know I say that every month, but, <laughs> you know, I just always have fun videos planned. It's so exciting. I'm so excited for all the fall things. Um, you guys know. So I actually decided, um, right now I should say, because it could change, it could very well change. As of now, I decided that I'm not going to get the new pumpkin palette because I saw one of the sneak peeks of the mini palettes, the small Too Faced palettes, and that one is so freaking cute. It reminds me of the track they were going on when they did the um, the Too Faced Pe Sweet Peach. No, what was it? Ah, Tickled Peach. Tickled Peach. And then they had um, Cinnamon Rum. Rum? Rum. Something like that. The Rum palette. Buttered Rum. The Butter Rum and the Tickled Peach. Those were the only two palettes that I liked that were in the mini form because they were practical, they are usable, they are just so freaking good. And so this new one that they just released reminded me of those and I'm like, oh, okay, I need that one. I'm going to get that one instead of the big one this, this time. And I feel like I don't need it as a collector because it's not in the tin packaging, so it's not the same. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever, okay. All right, next let's just go in with the um, Revolution IRL Filter Longwear Foundation. I think this is a dupe for something um, that I've been attesting. And so I want to like put it to, I want to try it. Like I want to wear it and then consciously like look at it. Of course for a high end foundation. I've used this, I think I used this like once when I actually, and I think I used it like once or twice. Um, I haven't used it as often as I should have though. I just have got so many foundations this um, month of August and man, like I was just, all over the place with foundation honestly but um I think I'm only I think I have 16 foundations which sounds like a lot but I had like 20 something at one point and that was horrible <laughs> that was like a never again so um I've decided this month when I'm buying stuff I'm only I bought my one foundation for the month of September and again you'll see that on Friday but um hopefully I don't buy anymore <laughs> Do you think if you're someone with drier skin, this is definitely how you want to wear this foundation. Um, you want to wear it with something glowy underneath. Um, the uh, uh, the NYX one actually works really nice underneath, and then the combination of the e.l.f. just really helps this foundation out a little bit. 
because it is that semi matte um you just don't want it to be too too dry and if you don't wear enough of a boost underneath it'll look a little dry um but that color looks really nice on me <laughs> it's f12 if you guys are curious um and then we're gonna go with the lys triple fix i said this earlier but like I tried this, I used this for a while and I really liked it and the one day it was just so dry and crepey and I was scared for my life so I haven't used it since and it's been like a, at least a month, it's probably been all of August I didn't use this um, and that's a no-go for me. So we're going to see if I like this. Well, the problem I have is like sometimes I'll have an obsession with like, not an obsession, but sometimes I'll really like a brand as a whole so I want, I'll want to keep all their products just because. But then I'm like, Marissa, if it's like a bad product, like, why are you going to keep it, you know? Or like, why? Like, am I just going to keep it so I can use it and tell you guys it's terrible? Like, it's so, it's so, um, it doesn't make sense, really, just to do that. And so I have to tell my, keep telling myself that because I'm like, I, what is the point of that, Marissa? I don't know. Um, but it's actually looking really nice today. Okay. Whew. Crisis averted. <laughs> Still is that nice. I still don't think it's me um high full coverage. I still think it's more of a medium coverage, but it is bundable, it's smooth, it's creamy. Oh, okay. That was scary. But you can see yeah, my skin looks really good today. It could have just been the combination of what I was using, but the problem is like, like to consciously be like, okay, I'm not gonna use this concealer with this foundation. It's like a lot of work. I got a lot of foundations, I got a lot of concealers. To remember every combo I'm not gonna use is gonna it's like a hassle. It's a lot of a hassle. So there's no way that was happening. So it's kinda like, whew. It's gonna have to go I guess um, but luckily it's not all right then we're gonna go miss Jacqueline here but let's go in with this elf one I really like the setting powder I do like the pressed powder a little better um, but I'm glad I picked up the shade sheer light in this is it the sheer light yeah it's the powder move loose setting powder in the shade sheer light I called it the sheer light powder <laughs> my bad um, earlier but anyway it's a nice powder and I'm glad I got the really light shade because it looks really nice under my eyes it's not too dark um so I recommend going like down a few shades if you're if you're looking for it to if you use this powder under your eye I know I use this powder on my net eye under my eyes I know a lot of people use loose powder just to set their face like there it's all over the place obviously makeup has no rules um but I like to use it in my under my eyes and like in where my concealer is to keep it brighter I feel like it just looks nicer that way um but i'm glad i went with that shade i just it's not like an obsession of a powder you know it looks really pretty though it's nice it's definitely because i think the formula is definitely one that sets the rest of your face like should be nice to set the rest of your face but i just like i just don't use loose powder like that i have to remember to do that i'm trying to calm the stomach i don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea <laughs> but i made a smoothie today um because i'm trying to get like nutrients in my body as quickly but as easily as possible and um I don't know what else to eat <laughs> I was like I just need food I'm like I like I had a headache as a mess <laughs> um and so I, you know, I took one sip and it, like my stomach is going back and forth but it feels fine right now um but I'm like I don't know if that's a good idea because obviously it's like all fruit it's spinach it's water like it's not anything but then I'm also like is that like the perfect recipe for a disaster I don't know we're gonna see Gatorade what's your favorite Gatorade guys I love yellow and I love red. Those are my favorite. All right, then we're gonna go in with the LIS. Um, no lim. What is this called? No limits bronzer and contour stick. I think that's what they're card called. But I have the shade Harmony. I love this bronzer stick. Like literally, it's my favorite. Um, honestly, I could probably could get rid of all the other ones. If <laughs> if the other brand, like I have Rare Beauty and I love Rare Beauty as a brand. So like again, like I said, I have an obsession with like keeping certain brands so that's one that I definitely would just keep because it's rare beauty but that one's a great and that one's a great one as well but this one is just better it's just creamier the shade is better for me as well so that does lend itself to the LIS as well um it's a little bit deeper but they're both the second shade up so that always sucks because it's like obviously that means they don't have enough shades um but this cream bronzer is so good this, you guys would, like, oh my gosh, maybe I should do, I don't know, maybe next go around, um, I'll show you guys, like, my, maybe, I don't know if I'll 
be able to squeeze it in here or if I'll just do a whole video dedicated to like my decluttered products but I have a whole basket already of decluttered products it's like of products that I know I would have to use eventually that I was like I really don't want to use that and it's like why am I keeping it if I really don't want to use it Marissa that makes no sense so I had to like I had to get rid of those and so I decluttered that um other products that I used and that I was like oh no that was a train wreck certain things like that um, I feel like it always takes me time to decide if I want to get rid of it or not. So that was the hard thing. Like I didn't want to just, now I got a little tan. <laughs> that was the hard thing about the, um, like adding what products I decluttered in the video because, um, I, I just don't decide in, in enough time to film it and like, you know, I'll, like, you know, wear it, film it, that kind of thing. So I couldn't decide, but lost my train of thought. All right, next we're going in with the number seven Lift and New Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. I also don't know why I keep this, have kept this one for so freaking long. It's a good powder. It really is, like, a, just a good powder that sets your face but without drying it out. Um, but, like, I really, I don't need it. I mean, it's just good, so maybe that's why I just keep it because it's a great, it's a great standard, I guess. And it's drugstore. This is the only product though. Oh, it's super pretty powder. Wow, I forgot how gorgeous. That's why I keep it. <laughs> um, this is the only number seven product I have though. Okay, if you notice that, we're gonna move on. Right, next, we're gonna go in with Miss Charlotte Tilbury. It's the <laughs> Airbrush Bronzer in the shade 3 Tan. This is like massive and I never use this. Oh yeah. And I feel like now I've had it for too long, but I can't sell it really. I mean, I can sell it, but like, it's a little gross. It's a little old for that. I'm just going to hit it in like the tippy tops because, girl, we're tan. I'm down the neck. I'm just, I love this. I love this like soft matte, more natural kind of finish face for the fall. Um, I just feel like it's just so scrumptious. I definitely love to be a glowing goddess in the summer. And then when it comes to like the fall, I like that really set, beautiful, mm, scrumptiousness. Um, it just looks so delicious. And then I love, who the blush we're about to go in with. Wow. Um, again, the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Divine Blush in the shade Paradise Venus. Okay, how do I open this, sweetie? Y'all. It is so pigmented, though. I went in with the craziest hand. And, oh my gosh, I'm like barely touching my cheek and look at all that pigment. I'm literally, I don't even know how to show you, I'm like this. And look at that! <laughs> so pigmented, but this formula is stunning. It does not move all day. Literally all day, and I was surprised because I was like, oh, it'll wear out. Like, you know, like I don't have to blend it out that much. No, no, it doesn't wear down. So definitely blend it out to what you want it to be because it'll be that way for the entire day. It does blend out though nicely. Just like be really careful. Did we just come in from the cold even though it's like 90 degrees outside? We did. <laughs> I can't decide if I want to get rid of the box or what, but I just I love this packaging. But I like I I don't know. It's a lot. I know a lot of people who get rid of it and I look at their collection, I'm like, that looks so stupid. So I just want to keep it. <laughs> next let's go in with Let's go on with setting spray next. <laughs> We're gonna go on with the Jaclyn X Robin All Set Setting Spray. Honestly though, I really didn't think that this collection would be as much of a hit as it is because, um, like, I mean, honestly, these products really didn't need to be X robin <laughs> It was just like, you know, she was releasing them at the same time as the eyeshadow palette, so that's fine. Um, but, the setting spray and the powder they're both just really good so my makeup looks really good today all right then we're gonna go with the rare beauty brow harmony in the shade soft black so i'm just gonna go to the outside of my brows first lightly put some brow gel because this is pigmented oh my gosh i got i was supposed to go get my brows done yesterday i know my brow lady's gonna be so mad at me <laughs> she's gonna be like marissa she doesn't even know my name she just knows i just I, she knows I come all the time, but also, like, not all the time. <laughs> she knows when I'm supposed to be there, and I'm not there. Yeah, this brow product's gotta go, honestly. It's not about Brad, Brad, bad brow product. It's just so dark that it's like, oh my gosh. It looks like I have that peel stuff on it, <laughs> and I don't. 
And then now that my hair is like lighter, it looks even worse. Because it honestly is like not even as dark as my roots, but it's it's my brows. But um, that color, but it just looks crazy. I feel like that'll do. I'm so excited to play with these because I did not even like think about this combo and I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so look at this palette. Isn't it so gorgeous? I just I love it. I don't even know if it's available anymore, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, let's see. Sweetie. I want to stay pretty mauve -y. so let's go into the shade here. Um, is this, this one ended up turning really pink though, yeah. Let's go in with the shade All the Feels from the Jacqueline one. Oh my gosh, I was going to use the mirror, but there's no mirror. Tisk tisk, Jacqueline. Tisk tisk. Okay, I'm just going to lightly bring that up into the crease because it is super, super pigmented. But I just want a little bit of that color in the crease. I would say these palettes are like exact dupes, um, but they are pretty similar. So if you, um, I guess really if you only want the mattes, if you want, if you, if you want this matte and the pink, if you want the pink and, if you want the mattes in this palette, although it's 90% shimmers, but you, and you just, if you just want the mattes, like, but a matte palette version of this palette, then the Jacqueline's for you. But if you want the shimmers and stuff, the Jacqueline doesn't have any of the same shimmers, honestly. I just kind of messily slapped that on, but that's okay. Um, I do want to go with this shade down here with this hideous brush. I gotta clean them, obviously. They don't have names or anything, but there's this deeper mauve from the Pat McGrath palette. And look at her. She's a beaut. I just, I really do hate that Pat, Pat McGrath is so expensive because they do do stuff so right. Like, I've tried their lipsticks. Those are really, really nice. Um, again, the blush was stunning. And then this eyeshadow palette, the formula, is, like, superb. But, like, to paint, I'm going to, like, every time I like a color scheme, it's just, it's not, it's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. <laughs> okay, that's really pretty. Do you guys, um, I'm just going to take, sorry, hold on. I'm just going to take that same shade and run on the lower lash line. Um, do you guys shop the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, or do you guys just wait for Sephora to have the deal? I feel like it's kind of mean to wait for Sephora, but I'm the type of girl to wait for Sephora. <laughs> or, like, not wait for just Sephora, but, like, buy it at Sephora, because Sephora does free... Well, okay, this is not going to go on for much longer, so I feel like Sephora will lose its edge. But only, not everyone gets... I don't think it's every deal, and I don't think it's everyone who gets free shipping at Ulta. So, Sephora does free shipping. Free two-day shipping. <laughs> I'm like, come on. <laughs> Why would I buy it at um, Ulta? And then, the other thing was that Sephora has Afterpay and Clarina. Ulta only has Afterpay. Actually, I think you can use Clarina. But, you have to, like, put in, like, the card information or something like that. Either way, it's just a lot easier to go through Sephora. And I feel so bad because I'm like, it's so me. But, because I feel like, obviously... Ulta works hard on this, and that's why I think they're doing the surprise deals this time around, because they're like, um, because they don't want Sephora to steal them, but Sephora found a way. The KVD foundation was a surprise deal, and that was on sale half off at, at Sephora, and I was like, oh gosh, but I do, I just like, I like shopping at Sephora better sometimes. I feel like Sephora too, they have their, like, you spend... When you get 500 points, you get $10 off, which is nice. Um, Ulta does have a better point system, but for me, I feel like it just takes so long because you have to, like, even there's drugstore products, so, like, it just takes so long to get there. I don't know. It's just being nitpicky. Anyway, we're going to go with Berry Whipped from Miss Jacqueline. Just to deepen out things the slightest bit. I can't even tell. Do you want to know? I watched half of, um... Um, Snow White and the Huntsman yesterday. I didn't finish it because I was, I went to bed, but um, and my friends were finished it, but um, I gotta finish it. But I was watching that and I was like, not Kristen Stewart, like just being in every freaking movie. <laughs> Honestly, I can't decide what I want to do. I think we're gonna go in with this shade from the. We're gonna do it, yeah, from the Pat McGrath. We're gonna be a savage. We're gonna try this. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Um, and I'm like, not, not even, not even, okay, it's not even the fact that she's in all these movies, 
because she's not really a good actress in my opinion. But it's the fact that she's worked with Chris Hemsworth and Robert Pattinson. What? What? Like, are you kidding me? That's nuts. I want to watch some of the their interviews from then. I know this movie was, came out in 2012. Um, but I want to watch some of their interviews from them from then because I want to see how like they interacted because that seems like the oddest combo in America. But I just, you know, obviously I don't actually know. I just, I love how abused this palette looks. I always, I, I always, I do like this palette. There is so much more like potential than um, actually is in this palette. Like what am I going to do with this orange shade? And then like the gold is nice sometimes, but like it's just, there's so many random things in here, but it's just also pretty. I'm actually going to go with that light pink shade in the middle. Okay. If I could show you in the middle and just blend out the crease a little bit. Cause I want to add some depth up here. Oh yeah. She knew what I, she understood the assignment. She knew, she knew what she's supposed to do. I'm just obsessed, obsessed. Um, I think we're gonna leave the inner corners bare today. We're gonna do it. Really nice combo. If you have them both, definitely pull them out, play with them, you can get sweet, sweet berries. Oh my gosh. Like I definitely think that there's some things, like even if this shade, this lid, the shade on my lid was in, was in, in the Jaclyn, um, palette that would make this palette so much better. We're gonna go with the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen um, in the shade Deep Plum. I love this color. This is one of the. I should do a video. I've thought about this video a long time. Like I've ha planned it. I planned it in months, and then I'm just like, ah, they're not gonna like it. So then I don't do it. But it's like one hit wonders in my collection. Like, brands that I only have one from that are, like, really good, but I just, for some reason, don't buy anything else from. Pixie. Um, number seven is a great one, because I only have, like, the one powder. Certain things. Like, Pat McGrath, I guess, is two products. Oh, I've tried the, whatever. Certain brands, you know, just, like, I only have and like one product from, and then I just don't go back and do anything else with it. I mean, it's, it's how life is, but, you know, so crazy. Um, okay, let's go with, who? she's trying to escape. I took it out because I liked it in a smaller pan for a little while, but then I put it back in. I think I took it on vacation in a smaller pan. But this is the Laura Lee Glaze Lit Kit, and then I'm going to go in with the shade Glow Gal. This is my most used shade. I think that could be, like, that would be the highlight of Laura Lee, <laughs> Laura Lee Los Angeles um, if she came out with these in singles. Because <laughs> I know so many people who, like, love this color and love these products but they only use one in the entire palette i guess would i buy a whole new one though if i already have this one i don't i probably would though is honestly my honest opinion because this one's getting older anyway and it's not performing any different but it is getting older so um there's that Exactly what I had, <laughs> so it's actually mad funny. The foundation that I think is, this is, the revolution is a dupe for, um, does the exact same thing around the mouth, where it kind of like separates in a weird way, only around the mouth. And at first I was like, oh, maybe this one's just like better. But I mean, it is better, I think, in my opinion. But I was like, maybe this one is just like, um, not as, doesn't have those same issues, but it does. It does. I know it's a dupe. It's a dupe. Okay, let's go in with, uh, I just don't want to go in with this mascara. We're going to go for it. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I just don't want to be disappointed. It's the T-Sys. I just don't, and I know that I will. Or maybe not. Ah! Oh, yes, girl. I knew you were capable of more. The first few times I used this after I got it like back into my collection, it was just not good. I was just like, I don't know where, what it's doing right now, but it just needed some time to dry out. And now we're, oh my gosh, we're doing big things. Oh, thank God. This was a ride or die for a long time. And like when your ride or dies get debunked, it's a little bit like heartbreaking. You're like, <gasps> and these are my bad lashes. So imagine my good lashes. Oh, 
I want to do this one on its own really quick. I freaking, so Lights Lacquer, so cute. Um, Kathleen Lights came out with her, so it's lips and tips. So she came out with some lip products and I'm so excited she's like stepping into makeup. I'm like, yes girl. So she came out with three Jelly Balm Lip Lacquers. Um, our new lip glosses are non-sticky, lightly fragranced with vanilla marshmallow. And each ingredient offers a nourishing lip treatment with hydration, hydrating tri triple peptide shea butter and white tea. So first of all, it comes in this like cute like packaging. Do you see what I see? It comes with like it comes with everything. She was like, here, I'm not making you spend your money. So it comes nicely like packaged here. And it comes with, so here's the lip gloss. We'll swatch that in a second. It comes with a freaking pin and it's Kathleen Lights. It's a little ugly, but it's like it doesn't look like her at all. Um, but obviously, like what did you expect? Ex what could you expect? But it said that's expensive. And that's what she um, says all the time, and it's so funny. So this lip gloss is called That's, That's Expensive. Um, and so it also came with a whole bag. I was like, girl, she hooked it up. It says the same thing on the front, That's Expensive. That's Expensive. And um, I'm like, I was just in love. That was such a cute thing. I freaking, I paid $17 for um the lip gloss and i was like that's a lot of dollars but it came with a bag a pin like that's that felt like more worth it to me in my opinion so that's really nice and it has ooh, this is a nice bag it has like these slots here where you can so your stuff's not moving around this is a cute bag ooh, ooh, i hope that wasn't an accident again i got the shade the shade that's expensive and this gloss wasn't too expensive like in my opinion it wasn't expensive expensive but it wasn't like cheap either um, but it's such a pretty color. I just needed it. I needed that, honestly. So I want to wear this hold on by itself quick. Mm -hmm. I need this in a perfume right now. You can see it just has those nice sparkles. They're not chunky at all. They're super, super pretty. My nose looks so awfully dry. So pretty. It smells so good. I don't know why it's doing that. Mm, 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 mm. so pretty okay but I do want to wear the lip combo that we got here so we're gonna go in with LA girl shockwave new lip liner in the shade rosewood it's the dumbest name because this is not a rosewood color this is definitely um like purpley mauve I feel like rosewood is like brown no just me it is a pretty color. I just know I won't wear it a lot. So I better get used out of it now. Ooh, and then let's go with Bated Breath. I got this with um, my Ipsy, and it's actually pretty used. Uh, I do like this color, but I got it with Ipsy X Chloe Kardashian. That was, like, truthfully my most used um, Ipsy, because I have so many goodies from there still. Mmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh! Oh my gosh, this is giving. Very fast. Okay, I'm just going to tap a little bit of this on um, the Lights Lacquer one. Okay. Because I don't want to get this dirty yet. And not with this color. <laughs> gosh, it smells so good. I love that smell. Oh my gosh, am I obsessed? Are we obsessed? Are we all obsessed or am I just obsessed? Alright guys, here is the finished look. What do we think? What do we think? Do I look sickly? No. <laughs> Power makeup, baby. <laughs> Alright guys, and that is it for this video. I know it's a longer one. I had to go mega slow. <sighs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know again how are you guys are feeling about the series. If you are falling out of it, falling in more into it, anything like that, let me know. Um, honestly, I'm so excited because certain categories I can start over. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but, yes, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.